Hello, dear friends and lovers of freedom, listening and watching us all over the world. I welcome you to Sunrise BTV. My name is Marzi Victor Onido. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and I have Marzi Oriako Bright with me in the studio. Marzi Oriako Bright, can you say hello to the people? Good morning, lovers of freedom, dear friends all over the world. Welcome to Sunrise Daily News Analysis. All right, thank you very much. You can do good to share our program in all social media spaces. We are on Skype, we are on YouTube, we are on Periscope, we are on Twitter, we are also on WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger. Also, you can hit us up on our website, which is www.biafratv.co. All right, do good to call your neighbor, your friends, and well wishers, and even the critics, tell them to come close so that they can listen to the gospel of truth as we are going to unleash them here. And also, uh, after some couple of analysis, we are going to get hooked up with our brother Mazi Elvis on the way, who is also going to analy analyze from his own end. And after that, when we we'll come back from break, we are going to open our phone lines for you to call to bring your contribution and also to ask your question if you have any. Once again, my name is Mazi Victor Oido, and this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and I have Mazi Bright Oriako with me in the studio. All right, Mazo Riaco Bright. Good morning and welcome once again. Thank you so much. All right, uh, we, um, yesterday we started talking about uh, the devil's alternative. Although since uh, the past week we've been discussing about the intricate aspects of uh, the aftermath of uh, the Nigerian election, of which a lot of uh, controversies, a lot of issues have just been coming up. But yesterday we started talking about the devil's alternative. And uh, Mazi Bright, you have been doing a good job in educating our people about what the devil's alternative uh, are and uh, what we are likely to expect. So, please, can you go ahead and uh, you know tell us more about uh, the devil's alternative? Yes, we are the indigenous people of Biafra, yeah. and we are whiter than white and whiter than snow. We are being led by Mazi Namdekano. We stand for the truth. We want to restore the dignity of human beings because uh, we, we, we live in a land that has been colonized and recolonized. And of course, uh, we are the indigenous people of Biafra and we determ are determined to get our land back and of course not just to get our land back, to free ourselves. Wherever we are in the world, we have to move as free people and of course uh, without molestation. We have a fundamental human right, and of course, that is what you see us coming up and uh, pursuing until we are free. We are not better than a, the lower animal. Yes, but we are talking about the evil system because we know that the Nigerian problem is not just individuals. Yes, individuals have contributed greatly. Um, those who we have colonized and amalgamated, you know, there have been a lot of fights. The stage was set, and of course, scripts are being written. But we know the foundation. It is a system that was created by the British government, by Lord Lugard, and of course, and Flora Shaw. So they created it and called it Nigeria. We, we, we know uh, there's no need for overflogging the foundation again, but we are talking about this devil's alternative. You know, when you look at the two, you think that, yes, uh, people we are talking about Tiku and people we are talking about uh, Buhari, uh, yes, we, we talk about Jubri Buhari, you know, we must understand yes. what we are talking about here. So, and the APC government and the APDP, we have seen the two devils. Because uh, we know that APC is evil, PDP is uh, also evil. We knew that uh, before uh, 2014, uh, there, uh, there have been a lot of corruption. And we talk about constitution because you talk about constitution, the constitution is not, there's never a thing like constitution because it is not the will of the people that is there. It is not the law of, of the people. It was a constitution that was given by the military. 1999 constitution was given by Abu Salam and Abu Bakr. And uh, of course, you have a military joint uh, uh, producing some uh, uh, constitutions. And of course, for the, for the more Christian, normally that's not how it's supposed to be. Constitution was, uh, it was supposed to constitute the laws of the land. For from all the areas, those that we are, of course, if we are supposed to be a federation, yes, as we were amalgamated, then we are supposed to have their laws from all the uh, 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 nations that constitute the everything called Nigeria. That would have formed a good constitution if there was. Uh, and of course, that was a replica of something that, that used to be uh, in 1963. 
but today that is not what it is so we ha have confronted with uh, two devils because there are several political parties of course some of them we don't even know but we know about two we know about today you talk about the ruling party apc of course controlled by the cabals then we know about pdp also controlled by former politicians those who have also been part of the system and of course uh, m most of them are also members of the cabals so when we are talking about the, the evil here we, are, we should know that it is still the same people and of course the pro problem is that there is a systematic error there is a systematic problem there is a systematic issue that it's not just the constitution it's not just the people but nigeria itself is a problem and of course it is not just one kind of problem it's a complex problem because everything about nigeria is wrong it's negative it's uh, against the people it's against democracy it's against uh, human rights it's, uh, and uh, it is in nigeria that you know uh, 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 that you see that there's a law that doesn't give uh, tells you that see they, that, that they, don't, they don't support human rights they don't support uh, uh, self-determination that uh, yes you can it, whereas uh, there are places like the uh, person contesting for uh, presidency under uh, the, the, the we will say the man that won uh, that was never allowed to take uh, office that is not uh, been allowed to take office is from Adamawa and of course that part of Adamawa used to be in Cameroon it was a, 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 a referendum that brought him in, in and made him a Nigerian without a referendum he will not be here but today uh, they are telling you that see there is no provision for it in their constitution because the, you are dealing with a military job that have produced something that looks like a constitution and of course even that a document they talk about and call constitution is not working they don't respect it the ruling government don't respect it so you are talking about a situation that have gone complex since 2014 we knew that apc came apc became a terrorist party PDP were in power between 1999 and 2014, and we knew we, we, we knew that to a large extent, well, they respected that military constitution, and of course you could go to court, and of course uh, so many issues could be redressed in court. We knew that PDP was corrupt. We knew that there was a systematic problem. But we are talking about a more complex issue today. Where you are talking about a terrorist government that came to take power, a jihadist government that came to take power in 2014, and of course they came under the platform of Boko and they came on that platform of and uh, uh, threatening like the uh, Buhari before he died said yes if he doesn't uh, I, uh, he was not given a uh, room to come into power he, uh, that he will make the country ungovernable he made his statements and of course Jonathan cried out that see Boko Haram have become members of the uh, of, of, of the Senate. They are everywhere in government. Boko Haram were part of the government. And when you're talking about Boko Haram, it's not just those boys in the bush. It's not just those of them in the military. You are talking about Boko Haram in the government house because um, uh, 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 those of them politicians from there we are members of Boko Haram. So Bruno Jonathan understood because uh, before uh, that, that, that period, Boko Haram was underestimated. But he took time to understand what Boko Haram actually was doing. He understood that Boko Haram was part of the government. So you now see that we you have PDP who was actually fighting to defeat Boko Haram, who was understudying to defeat Boko Haram. But you now have the APC who came and of course began to sponsor terrorism. So you are now looking at two devils. We were dealing with a lesser devil, of course, uh, corruption and of course uh, cases of uh, human rights abuse and all that. It, they were obviously, but we are now talking about a full-blown terrorist party that came to power. So we have seen terror, we have seen horrible killings, we have seen everything, and today we are still dealing with the same issue. They, of course, we saw what happened on election day. Was it not on election day that opened the military men right up? And of course, and killed innocent Biafras. They were shooting. It was a war front so that you were disenfranchised in Biafra. And that is what it is. And uh, the, to worsen it, you now see that, that when we are talking about this, these two devils, and of course, you're looking at the greater evil and the lesser evil. And of course, they, both of them are evil. And of course, evil is evil because, uh, you know, no matter the, the, how you look at it, if you still turn around it and look at Atiku, there, is, there may not be much different. The only difference could be that. Atiku may not have enough heart and of course a, a bit educated uh, to the uh, largest extent may, uh, have, may drive economic policies may be, uh, try to work on uh, the constitution maybe but the truth about it is that he is from the same uh, uh, family 
they are the best of a feather and of course he will always swear allegiance to sokoto he will always swear allegiance to the islamic, islamic government that is already in power so we need to understand those evils so but we are talking about a system that where democracy have been truncated where everything about human rights have been pushed to the dustbin but you still have the international community because when we talk about this is we talk about the role being played by uh, the, the owners of nigeria what did britain say after the election that they saw killings in broad daylight they saw the evil in broad daylight what did they have they not gone ahead uh, to go? yeah we are, we are coming to, we are coming towards that you know because uh, there is a, a statement that was made by the american government condemning in totality the british government but we are going to come to that just Go ahead and so, so, so we are looking at two evils, and of course, we are the indigenous people of Biafra. We have gone uh, suffered everything each time we talk about these governments coming to play. The only th thing they could the only, once they come to power, the only people they concentrate is Biafra because that is how Nigeria has been constituted. They constitute every uh, uh, thing they are doing is to commit genocide because that is the foundation that was made. 1804 jihad was about making sure that they turn the, all the areas to Islamic nation, and of course, you become slaves to Islam forever. They swore that they must soak their Quran into the Atlantic, and that is the only thing that made them uh, their vision be accomplished. And 1804 jihad was there before the British government looked at what was happening, and of course, hijacked uh, the system, and of course, colonized. When they colonized, they still retained power in the north. The same group that was uh, that, that, that was in the, the, the British system uh, only helped them to uh, uh, secure the area, help them to uh, find the food print so that they, they, their job become easy and that is when you talk about the amalgamation because before now we knew that the press and they couldn't cross the the middle belt they, yes we, they were stopped biafra has never been conquered there nobody conquers biafra and of course when the british came was they came with a, a kind of a the deception creating the evil thing called nigeria they just deceive themselves and of course coming in the name of business because our people are business people you know that we did business our ancestors did business with europeans at the uh, bite of biafra before the uh, british government came and of course with their deceit and of course we got to form the royal uh, niger company and they came here uh, in the name of business transaction they deceived the, themselves and of course established a business and um, amalgamated it was simply a business they came to transact and of course they were before you know what's happening they started treating it as a country before you know what's happening they started uh, uh, appointing uh, making appointing their men before you know what was happening they created so that was what uh, deception pure deception british government came with pure deception the nigeria you have today is a fraud there is no country called Nigeria. What you have is British Business Center. They just change the license and call it Nigeria. They just change the name and call it Nigeria. And of course, from there they began to run at the administration. And of course, they began to they, 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 they began to uh, create uh, uh, government upon government. And from the regard and all that, before you talk about what looks like independence, that is never an independent because we, we, we our people have never been independent since the, what they call independent. So. The truth about it is that there is no, there is some, everything anti-democracy with what they call democracy in Nigeria, and you have two devils today, two devils from from the same area, and of course contesting, and of course trying to be used to deceive us. Yes, it, they are creating the same because they have seen what the indigenous people of Biafra are doing. They know that Biafra is the only solution to the black man, the black man world. Biafra is the only solution that to every evil going on here because. We are living in our land. We are the indigenous people. It takes only the indigenous people to stand up and defend themselves, to stand up and, of course, reclaim their dignity because freedom is never given by the oppressor. It is taken. So they know what we are doing. That is why you see them creating these two evils because whether you like it or not these two evils the same people that created nigeria created these two devils now you have the apc you have the pdp and of course they want to keep us just very busy pursuing shadows because when you think you're chasing apc you want to be part of the ruling party you are chasing shadows because you can never be defended in apc when you think you're part of pdp because you want to take power back you want to stop the killing now of course you are still chasing shadow because P A P uh, pdp is not the solution 
PDP is never the ultimate solution. If you see the same problem, the, we are, we, all you simply do is get back to it. We are not even getting back to 2014 because we are, we are no longer in 2014. You now have a Sharia law, almost a Sharia law running in the north. and every, So there's a, more, uh, already a complex problem. Even if PDP takes power, they still have a lot of complex problems to solve. So you are not dealing with a system that is ready to protect you. You are dealing with a system that is, has already been consumed. It is a shit hole. It is center of heart of darkness. So the only solution is to get yourself emancipated. The people, they are, there's only a, a, a solution that the people need to stand up. The indigenous people that form these areas need to stand up and sit up and stop this nonsense. It only takes the indigenous people to stand up and stop the nonsense. All right, thank you very much, our brother Masi Bright or Yako, for that wonderful submission. All right, uh, all of us of freedom, friends and well wishers, and uh, all of us of Biafra. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Mazi Victor, and I have Mazi Bright Oriako with me in the studio. And uh, we are just looking at uh, the Devil's Alternative, which we started talking about yesterday. Please, if you have not uh, shared the program, please go to all our social media spaces and share the program. Share it far and wide so that others can get to see and uh, hear the gospel of truth that is coming out from here. And make sure you also, uh, you know, uh, work your friends and well wishers, your neighbors and those who couldn't have access to uh, get uh, connected with us to come close to you and listen to the gospel of truth as it is unfolding. And also, um, in some couple of minutes, we are going to get hooked up with our brother Marcy Elvis on the way to also get his own analysis from his own end. And after that, we are going to go on a short break. When we we'll come back from the break, we are going to open the phone lines for you to call to make your contribution and to ask your question. Once again, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Marcy Victor, and I have Marcy Bright Oriako with me. All right, Marcy Bright Oriako, you've been doing a good work, and in order to, you know, uh, uh, to educate our people. Also, when you mention about uh, the foreign, uh, you know, um, I mean, the the government of the world, you know, uh, the role they played during this election, we got another report that has it that the American government is condemning the British government for congratulating Buhari over a sham called an election capitalized by massive rigging. And from all indication, this uh, election is not uh, to be recognized by any uh, uh, major democracy. So at this point, does it mean that the British government would, uh, could have any hands in this very uh, rigged uh, election that I've just taken? Yes, you see, oh, uh, oh, I said it earlier, uh, there's a background, there's a script, there's a problem in the evil contraction called Nigeria. The problem was created by Britain. If there is no, we, we cannot overflow it. Britain can never hide from the sin. We know the real creators of the problem because uh, 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 it is clear that if the, if the British government want to solve the problem today, they would solve it. But they hide under the uh, sovereignty that Nigeria is a sovereign nation. And they, but we know that in as much as they say Nigeria is a sovereign nation, Nigeria is never free from Britain. We know that the British government are the colonial masters. And of course, after colonization, in what they look looks like independence, you know, they threw away something. And of course, uh, 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 went underground. All they simply did was to go underground. We're not talking about post-colonial era. And that is what has been the problem. They now established a government where they run, and of course they are underground performing the duties for the uh, every international policy about Nigeria is written in Britain. Every organization you see, anybody who must be president in Nigeria must be uh, appointed from Britain, and that is the evil. So when you I think you are going out to read, why is it that elections have always been rigged? That is the question that we must answer. Why is it that after the rigging of the election, their choice candidate is always the one in, in power? So th those are the things. Now, you need to understand that this rigging didn't start today. It started with its first census. That the British uh, 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 themselves, we saw how it, the first suit was uh, fight. Yes, so that was where the problem started because you see that you, the figures you are dealing with today is not the real figures. Because if you are looking at population, who are the most populated people you have in the evil contraction called Nigeria? You are thinking it's not. You see, the Biafras are more populated than the North. That is the truth. Even before, during the days of colonization, Biafras were everywhere. They were everywhere in the evil contraction called Nigeria. And of course, we go check the um, um, uh, our presence in the world today. 
look at the population of Biafras all over the world. Look at the movements of wherever we are found. Look at how we uh, 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 dominate those areas. You now discover that you can never equate our population with enough. But because of that falsification of the census, that the first census that was conducted, they, they gave the larger uh, number to the north and they maintained it up until now. And that is why it even in the political structure, Nigeria was structured to the point that not, the north are always the majority. The north are always the majority. And when they are looking for people, that is why I keep asking for, I, I, I keep talking about the difference between the people. Because you talk about the geographical uh, area that have been mapped out. And of course, you now ask yourself, the people uh, that are called Nigeria. Because when it comes about the people, you now see that they mobilize people from all over West Africa to form Nigeria. As it stands, you look at what happened during this uh, rigged election. Was it not people from Niger, Chad, and uh, neighboring countries, Sudan, that formed what, what, what you saw, the, uh, uh, the rigging, the, all of them helped to rig the election. So, that, even including children. So, when you are looking at it, you now ask yourself, now, the people the, that have been colonized in the area called Nigeria, the indigenous people are no longer recognized as even the uh, owners of the land. They are looking for a means of uh, totally annihilating the owners of the land, either through wars, either through uh, 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 hardship, or uh, through genocide. That is exactly what you see them doing. And that is the same Islamization agenda. And you saw it uh, you, uh, when Nigeria was created, after the creation of Nigeria, there have been great problems, great challenges that have emerged. The position of British government is always, hey, it must be one Nigeria. It must be one Nigeria. Even when there is not a one in Nigeria, Lugard himself knew that this team, these people, they are like oil and water that can never mix together. But he insisted it must be one Nigeria. The British government knew that Nigeria is unworkable. But they insist in one Nigeria. And when it comes to one Nigeria, it is just about land grab. They are interested in the land. They are not interested in the people. So that is why they can bring any black man to uh, 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 occupy the space. And of course, uh, 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 call Nigeria because it is a company. So that is why when we are looking at the background as the British company, we must know that Nigeria is the British business center. Anybody can become a Nigerian. What they are interested in is in the geographical area. And that is why the indigenous people must stand up to reclaim their land. That is the only solution because we look at it. You know that when you look at the role being played by the British government, you see the reason now they would all run to congratulate this man in that sort of that have succeeded in rigging and of course to maintain their business so they are looking for their interest they are not interested and you see the perfect lie you see how they lie on bbc and, and cnn you see how they lie and of course when they lie it, it professionally they will tell you that election was uh, the best do you know that they are regarding this uh, election that is glaring that is the worst in history of democracy as the british are looking at it as the best because it serves their interest best. Not that it is the best for the people. Not that it is the best at the interest of democracy or human rights. No. Because it serves their interest best. Today you have a world where you can tell you that the British government is the greatest supporter of evil. If they created Nigeria and insisted in one Nigeria, in spite of the killings, horrible killings going on here, and of course like oil and water that can never mix together, they are not interested in it. Their damn interest is the resources in Biafra land. And of course it's not that we are not saying, you can get this thing from the indigenous people. When Biafra is restored, we will do business. Of course everything you want want to can get it but they actually like nigeria why because they know that they steal most of these things it's not they don't want to get it by just means that is what you see when you talk about colonization before colonization there was slave trade remember that slave trade the british government people saw them fighting at the forefront of fighting to stop uh, slave trade people didn't know they have found an alternative the alternative was voluntary slavery and that is what you see that is playing now colonization and of course when they colonize your mind you become a voluntary slave and that is why you see them creating nigeria and of course they have seen something to replace what they did and today people will voluntarily serve the british government serve their interests you will see them hiring your own brother to shoot in your land is it not what is happening so most of these men you see running the government are missionaries that is why even a man from sudan is in charge of the country 
So the British government is even doing a, a worse evil that is worse than colonial the uh, uh, slave trade. What is going on today? What is playing today is worse than what took place during slave trade. Then they are at the forefront, and of course, when they uh, meant to stop slave trade, it stopped. But today, something worse than slave trade is happening. Because those days, you knew that our people were taken through over the, uh, through, uh, the Atlantic Ocean in chains. But today, they are not taken in chains. They go by themselves and they die at the Atlantic Ocean. And of course, you see that the evil has become worse. Because those days will be taking them and they will make effort to escape. They will make effort to free themselves. But today, they have been so colonized to the point that you are the one going by yourself. And they are telling you to go back and die here because they have created this place to be the hell. People are looking for hell. This the location of hell, people don't know. Because I ask people all the time, when you talk about hell, is hell a spiritual location or a physical location? Because I know that spirits, uh, uh, of course, you can torture a spirit, but fire, they don't feel pain going through fire. So when you're talking about hell fire, the, the geographical location of hell fire is Nigeria. Because it is the center of heart of darkness. And the devil himself is tired of Nigeria. And of course, you know that the British government actually created this hell. And when you are running away, you are being forced back to hell. Because you know that in hell there is no way of escape. Is, is there not what is going on here now? You are trying to escape and you are being pushed back because there is no way of escape. You go through the Mediterranean Sea. Apart from that, they are dying. They are, they are pushing you back from there because they have closed all their borders. They don't want to, you to come over. They want you to remain here and die here so that your real land will be totally taken over. So they are hiring machineries from everywhere. Today they are hiring from Sudan and they are using Sudan uh, to a Sudanese man to run this evil thing called Nigeria. Tomorrow, who knows where they are going to hire the next man. So that is the evil we are confronted with so when you're talking about the greater evil and the lesser evil well the lesser evil is like um they are still using to pay us to pay the people you know to make the people fight for the same problem it, because when you're fighting you're fighting to stop pdp and of course you have missed your priority pdp and apc is not our problem our problem is that we really have been our mandate have been stolen and we know those who stole it we know how the creation, everything called Nigeria was created. So it's not a problem of fighting for PDP or fighting for APC. You should fight and restore your human dignity. That is it. So until you fight to restore your human dignity, you're wasting your time. So fighting for APC, fighting for PDP is the same uh, problem. And they created it so that they keep you busy. They keep you, keep you chasing shadow. And that is why I told them that I think he's only coming to preach. And he will continue to preach. That is his role. And of course, you will always see him coming out to make statements. You will see a lot of fight going on politically. It is a deception. They are doing it. They are doing it to keep your mind busy. The gullible ones will think that somebody is fighting for them. That Atiku is fighting for them. That the other governor is fighting for them. I'm telling you, nobody is fighting for you. And in the process, AK-47 will be rolled out. And they'll be shooting. And you, who are those that will shoot? They will shoot the ordinary one. Because that's actually what the British government wants. They create conflict. They want the conflict to escalate. They want everybody to die. They don't want to step in and solve a the problem. They know there's a problem created by them. They, if the British government says Biafra will be restored today, it will be restored. But because of their selfish devilish interest they will not do that so we the indigenous people of Biafra we know that freedom is not given by the oppressor it is taken so that is why we need to stand up as human beings and behave like human beings. Let the world understand that we, so many people underestimated our problem. Our problem is far greater than it. It is not just this Asorok. It's not just this Kabbal. It's not only the Islamization agenda. There are powers, what powers that are helping them. They helped to kill us during the genocide, 1967, 1970 genocide. They mobilized what powers to uh, commit genocide against Biafra. And they are still there doing the same duty. So we must understand where our problems are and we shouldn't underestimate them. All right, thank you very much, our brother Masi Bright Oriako, for that wonderful submission. Of course, all of us of freedom and their friends watching and listening to us all over, uh, all over the world. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Masi Victor, and I have Masi Bright Oriako with me. And uh, we are looking at the devil's alternative. Of course, you can do good to share our program in all your social media spaces. You can also get connected with us in all those social media spaces like uh, Periscope, Skype, YouTube, even Facebook and uh, Twitter. Also, you can get us on WhatsApp. Also, um, we are transmitting concurrently on Radio Biafra, London.
so you can do good to go to any of all those channels to also get hooked up with us also you can log on to our website which is www.btv.co to also get uh, connected with us and listen also invite your friends your well wishers even the enemies of their friends bring them closer that they can hear the gospel of truth and also you know have a change of mind all right uh, we're also going to get hooked up with our brother Marzi elvis only in some couple of minutes uh, and uh, when we come back after that we'll open the phone lines for you to make your phone calls and also to ask your questions if you have any that you are not yet clarified about stay tuned and don't go anywhere all right uh, Marzi, back to Riaco. i come to you again you know um there is a press release uh, that was credited to Erufa. You understand? I want to read it out so that you can also analyze from there. All right. Erufa uh, said, uh, "My joy is that this election has exposed Southern Nigeria and the politicians from the south in APC as irrelevant, multi, and worthless. They have been busted as a bunch of people who came to Asorok to make claims and promises that they cannot fulfill." They will henceforth be seen as men with no political values, full of noise and nothing more. How will Osibanjo, who expects Buhari to hand over power to him in 2023, explain to the North why he lost his polling unit, ward and local government area in Lagos? How will Fashola escape the query why he lost Sulere, his local government, to PDP? How can Akbabio ever have the courage to look Buhari in the face again after this after his crash in Akwaibom. Can Oshomole still dance about after his flop in Edo? What will, what will uh, Abiola Ajimobi tell the Kabaos and Buhari now? All the serving ministers from the southeast lost uh, their polling units. We are going to uh, them go get mouth now. Amechi failed to deliver in River State. How will he be regarded going forward now? Tinubu promised to deliver Southwest votes in block to Buhari and the North believed him. Is, uh, is it not a thing of shame that he failed and almost lost Lagos, if not for some doctoring and cancellation here and there? Tinubu will never be the same again. The Minister of Foreign Affairs could only muster seven votes for Buhari in his polling unit in Enugu. Uh, that the governor of Fimo State uh, had to detain a returning officer and force him to declare that he is the winner of a mere senatorial election speaks volume of itself. What a disgrace. All the noise by the southern politicians in APC to use federal might has eventually turned out to be mere sound and fury signifying nothing. The North will hold uh, to power. Will hold on to power for the next 12 years, in my view. So, this is uh, a statement credited to uh, the governor of uh, Kaduna State, Erufai. So, what would you make of it? You know, sometimes uh, when you hear these things, sometimes people think it's just mere rumor, and people are thinking that when you say these things, that uh, they are just simple words. They say their agenda, and they read them openly. Last year, we, uh, when uh, the Meti Allah set the agenda, they made it clear, and uh, people were saying it's rumor, is this, and it was, we saw it play out. This is come in form of rumor, and people uh, threw them to the recycle bin, and just like we know that this place is hell, it doesn't matter when you see somebody falling and dying before you, and of course they move on as if nothing happened. So when things like this happen, when you hear threats like this, you see, hear them setting agenda. People will still recycle it and move on as if nothing happened. But the truth about it is that we see these things play out before our very eyes. We see all these evils. They keep. You see, one thing we must understand is that the, the, the these jihadists we are talking about trace their uh, 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 land, uh, footsteps wherever they, whenever they take power they take it democratically and of course they come under the, the platform of democracy and of course they will take power and they will never give, uh, allow the power to leave their hands do you know that even 1999 is because of uh, uh, Bassanjo's uh, loyalty uh, to them of course they knew what happened in uh, 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 1979 
That was why they say, okay, this man is loyal. Because Obasanjo, remember how they made it clear that Obasanjo voted against his own brother, against Awolowo. That they knew that Obasanjo belonged to that Kaba. So for that reason, they will allow him. And of course, before they would give you power, they must know to test your level of loyalty. Yet they don't trust you. So we knew that while you saw them call Obasanjo coming 1999, one they wanted to compensate the uh, West for the death of Abiola, and of course the, uh, the, the school writers actually knew that see uh, the extension, and of course they wanted to win the mood of the nation, and they wanted to check the mood of the masses. So they felt okay, uh, the North should at least hold on, you know, like begging them because they see they, they tell them that we are born to rule nigeria belong to them they are the owners and of course uh, the islamization agenda so it was like they, they, they're doing something very special for you and that was why you saw Obasanjo, Obasanjo, because of the, even the level of his loyalty we knew the case of jonathan they, they wouldn't have allowed jonathan if not for death if not for uh, that the biafra fought for him because even when yadua died they concealed it, it, it and of course it would uh, jonathan wouldn't have been in power if not because a sister fought and of course made it clear and they were helpless that was why i saw jonathan and of course how did they uh, what happened when they saw that jonathan was actually working hard to free the people what happened there was an uprising who sponsored that uprising against jonathan because you saw that a lot of noise they say corruption corruption here and there and of course they say jonathan's regime was called and that was the best regime that you have ever had since the creation of the evil thing called nigeria that was the only time when you talk about democracy coming to play to at least to a large extent we know there was corruption because the system is corrupt yes the democratic system is corrupt but that was the only time that the fundamental issue about the constitution about the uh, gov governance was addressed you talk about 2014 confab that was the fundamental reason why jonathan's regime was you know those who own nigeria sponsored it that there was an uprising against jonathan and of course when you saw boko Haram, when you saw those terrorist movement somebody was somewhere engineering it so when you see that everything is happening in nigeria there is a serious person there is a serious force standing behind them that give them the courage to go ahead and it look as if Boko Haram can never be defeated. Boko Haram is not just a terrorist group. It is the Islamic army. It is fight. And of course, remember that during the Chibok saga, when they were doing their scam, using it to get a lot of money from the international community. The, when those they came to return those girls, and of course uh, we found out that one of the girls was a boy, truly, uh, uh, in the Chibosk, uh, uh, not Chibok, the, the, the uh, second the kidnap they did, uh, I've forgotten the name of this village in, in the north. So we, we knew that, uh, that she, that she, yes, the Dachi girls issue. Uh, so we knew that these men, when they were coming, they were being shaped in the street and they are called uh, soldiers of Allah. Because there we are fighting it. We talk about the Islamization agenda. You talk about the Northern agenda. It is the same thing. It is the same people working for the same group thing. And th th that was the reason why you see that the uprising against Jonathan was from a source. The, uh, the, 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 the owners of Nigeria, we knew that Obama's hand was in it. We knew that the former prime minister of Britain was strongly behind it. So there was a lot of uprising. So we knew all, the, all those evils. We knew where our problems are coming from. We knew those. And of course, that is why when you used to look at the outcome of the 2019 election, you also see that the same people are still doing the same duty. Because if you tell me there's going to be change, if you tell me they're going to have the people that have been, that created this problem change their minds. The people that created the problem have not changed their minds. The evil have continued. They continue to re-strategize, coming under the same different uniforms. See what they are simply doing today is to create that conflict. So that you see uh, APC and PDP will be fighting. You now come and you say, okay, PDP is better. Let me support PDP. And you see that you are just fighting yourselves. You are fighting yourselves. And in the process of this fighting, young people would that people would and at the end of the day chasing shadow. It is not self-determination. You are not doing anything. You are not going to gain anything. You are only going to at the end of the day gain something for the owners of the, 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 the for the owners of Nigeria, for the owners of the British company. So 
we must understand what is playing out here. So the evil thing called Nigeria, the only solution is Biafra. The only solution is IPOB. And of course, IPOB is the savior. Without IPOB, I'm telling you, there's no solution. There's no uh, progress. You can only get your freedom through uh, joining IPOB. And that is why we say, join the nearest IPOB family close to you. All right, thank you very much, our brother Mazi Bright Oriako, for that wonderful submission. Of course, uh, the only visible solution is to join IPOP family that is very closer to you. All right, all of us of freedom and friends and well wishers uh, that is listening and watching us all over the world. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Mazi Victor you know, And I have Mazi Bright Oriako with me, and uh, also our brother Mazi Elvis, on the way, is also stand, standing by to you know, uh, uh, get connected with us. But before we bring him in, we are going on a very short break, and then when we come back from the break, we'll bring him in to come and uh, give his own analysis. Stay tuned and don't go anyway. Yes, it's not for my high finish, oh. That's what they play this game, sir. Maybe that they, they, they will not they play nonsense game. Now. Am I? Last one night, that game I played twice. Now I take this ball. Ah, this ball. Ah, 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 ah,
as you can see we are doing great by the powers of chukoka biyama all right i can see that written all over your office can you hear me very well yes please but you can augment your voice just augment your voice okay all right can you hear me now okay all right i welcome you to sunrise daily news analysis this very morning thank you all right uh, Mazi Elvis, uh, all the way. you know the topic we are talking about is the devil's alternative and uh, of course you are the one that brought that topic and uh, people pick very very keen interest in it how do you know to elaborate and educate them on it so i would like you to start by educating us more on what you understand by the devil's alternative then before we talk about other things that are surrounding it <laughs> okay um my brother the uh, devil's alternative is an indication of uh, me standing on a uh, on a uh, uh, that is on a section or on a plank or on a bridge of no going back or that is on a place of no return if you move front you got to be wound when you move backward you got to be wound so the next thing for you to do is to push ahead either you survive or both of both of uh, the, the 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 situations goes down the the, the drain you know or drops by the sea because you don't have to give up but this time around we need to match it head on because as you can see right now the things that is happening is either you continue to pressurize or you stop and be killed so and as it is now there is no going back even those of them that said that they are not ipob that they are not joining with their friends the wind of this very wickedness is reflecting on them and it's gonna affect them the most because they lack they will lack the information from the crew of the ipob information information rooms why because they are not part of us they won't be allowed when it starts so it is dangerous for them to be outside because everybody is involved right now. Everybody that is it is, it is an altercation of devilish uh, 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 kind of moments when you say you are not involved, but you are part of it. How are to live that you don't even know the IPOB, they don't even know the, the queries or river rights or the or whatever. So the best thing for everybody to do right now, because it is a devilish alternative for us to join together, even if you say you don't join, you are going to be affected even massively. Why? Because you will lack information. But if you are involved, if you are within the IPOB, the information will get to you, you will get fed, and you prepare yourself not to do what? Not to do what? Just come back to speak. You need to have your charges. You need to have everything it takes for you to dabble into the, into, the, into the ocean so that you may not get, uh, you, not, you may not be drowned. But if you don't have such a thing, you are not equipped. You don't need to get drowned. So that is it right now. That, that is what we are saying right now. That we by mission or commission of your mission you must have said it that this very dispensation is going to be tough it's going to be tough to who so you have to use your faith your feet to have your tongue all right thank you very much our brother mazi elvis uh, on the way for that wonderful submission and of course uh, if you can look holistically from the thing that is happening around us it appears that we are already on that very devil's alternative this time around because uh, everything that is just coming up is still pointing to other direction because the option all the options are available is still not very good for the people everything seems to be coming in uh, 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 that is on the hard side of it also i have one information that is just coming in right now from an insider that has it that the Catholic church in our diocese had an indoor secret meeting which they will pass to their members soon before the governorship election they want to put an order to all their members that anyone found as an ipod member will be sent out from the church secondly if you die or any of your household dies as a member of IPOB, 
maybe you have a program that means the presence of the church the church will not attend it you will be counted out as not being a member simply because you are an IPAB member what would you make of that is still part of the devil's alternative you are talking about at this time around within the church premises what would you make of it Mazi? yes my comrade yes my comrade the time has come right now let me just tell you you don't have to be moved or you don't have to be panicked or upset of what the churches are saying those churches are the people that own people when they died that is when you know that these people care for you but when you are sick when you are in need when you are in a, a very big a kind of great size corner they won't come for your aid but when you die you watch them they'll go to the registrar they will check your 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 your, your attendance they will begin to mount some pressures and collect some money and the kind of things from you and say that if you don't pay it that this debt is not going to be buried but at the end of it all everyone is going to be buried so let me just tell you they are going to lose right now because the game they are they, they are inculcating right now is going to bounce on them when they place this kind of law or this kind of uh, uh, assessment or whatever they, 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 they have been trying to implement it will affect them right now because the POP is the most popular member they have in every church which means they are planning to boycott people from attending church services that is the only thing they say that means they, 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 they are paying and it is going to affect them behaving why money will not cost coming, money will not that will coming in, they will be going on the street begging people to come and it will not work I, I mean as usual again. But what I'm trying to tell you, say right now, these people that are making this kind of conferences, they are not God. They are talking like human beings and they are going to hypnotize you because you are being sanitized. And this they are being sanitized from their from their from their inhumanity that in enslavement, you have now realized that these people are not telling you the truth. Now they are doing everything possible to again things of the day but because of the fact that you have been listening to radio or television of the opera and your brain has been open you now start to listen like a human being they've saw the they, they, they seen that they have failed so they are trying to find every other way to keep you subjugated but because of the fact that you have realized that this only statement is enough now they come up with this all manner of law let me just tell you we are playing a game that will accept them the most why did i say this yeah, they, they, they're playing this game that will affect them the most. When they come up with this very issue, let me just tell you how many of churches have helped anyone? Who did they help? Who did church help? Rather, the IPB are the ones helping the churches. We help them pay their salaries, we help them build their houses, we help them eat in their homes, we help do every other down things. So when they come up with these very, these very issues, we don't have to play the game. And it's going to affect them seriously. So that is what I'm saying. And if they don't even realize or return or repent from what they are doing. Let me just tell you, from now to the next month or maybe in the next three months, you will start to count a church that I think have more than 1,000 or 2,000 members to that you will start to count them maybe 300 or 100 right now. People have been praying. People have been doing a lot of things for years. You won't play point and yet nothing happens. Yes, they obey you and they want to impose your personal law upon them. People are tired. That is why I said it is devils of energy. So thank you. All right, thank you very much, our brother Mazi LV Sawudi for that wonderful submission. Of course, we are still talking about that devil's alternative. Also, we got an information that uh, the River State Governor, Governor Yosemite, he hands articles portrait in his office instead of that of uh, President Muhammad Buhari. And the uh, other loyal PDP governors, too, have resolved to do so as soon as possible. Uh, and we are still talking about the devil's alternative. As in, is this still playing out? From your own perspective, what would you make of it, Mazi? Well, um, my brother, as you can see, that is their own personal business. You know, whatever thing they are doing or whatever thing that happens in their offices, um, it is their own personal business. They are positioned, they are playing their own role. They are trying to a kind of uh, shine or kind of shine their businesses and trying to be recognized or notice them more. So what we are saying is concerning the issue concerning Biafra and that is the only way out of this very issue. These people, whatever they are doing is to help them to kind of grow their own business, to grow their, their farm poultry, 
thieves and they are all manner of uh, uh, devilish businesses. Even if we remove the, the pictures and put their own pictures there, I we don't care. In our own office, even in our studio right now, we have nothing that they cannot picture. We have some of our pictures. And that is what we believe. So even if they remove all the pictures, it's not of our business. So they are trying to use it to make news or kind of tell the media to kind of make of nice and not interested. That is not the major issue. The major issue right now is to face what Burari Jujubri has said. He said that this very discussion will be going to be tough. It's not all about pictures. It's all about action. It's all about IPOB. It's all about restoring the Biafra. That is what that is the game we are in right now. So if you are not feeling the heat, now, I'm telling you in, 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 in a simple time that is in time to come, you are going to face it head on. And uh, I think it cannot help you. So it's better you join right now. If not, hmm, my brother, it's well. So All right. You. Thank you very much, our brother Masi Elvis. I want to go for that wonderful submission. Also, we are still on that very devil's alternative. And uh, we are still coming back on the religious aspect of it. You know, um, some since some couple of days after the election uh, result was announced that we have gotten so many reactions from some people and this reaction is coming from uh, Sheikh Gumi, a well-known Islamic uh, cleric in the north, I mean in the far north. He has come out uh, openly to condemn in totality the victory of uh, uh, Buhari which was characterized by act of uh, rigging. He also criticized those who worked hand in hand to aid his uh, uh, rigging from, in, I mean, range, uh, you know, ranging from all the military joint task force and other agencies, including the international observers. He condemned everything they did in totality, pointing out that it is un-Islamic. And but if, when you come to the other hand again, um, uh, Mbaka from his own end also condemned, uh, I mean, he was... Um, uh, condemning people be for not uh, coming to pledge uh, allegiance to him before embarking on that uh, uh, election. For Mbaka has said that uh, what happened to Pito B, I mean to Atiku and Obi is spiritual. He also said that this is the beginning of uh, Pito B's political downfall unless he comes to adoration ministry to apologize. He said that adoration ministry is too sacred and uh, Holy Spirit apple of God eyes that nobody can uh, you know uh, dare it and uh, go scot free so those uh, these two uh, uh, press statements are conflicting with one another so he's still talking about uh, the religious aspect i mean the role the religion is playing in helping the development of our uh, people and uh, human dignity so are we still left with that devil's alternative just like you have rightly asserted from your own perspective mazi elvis <laughs> Yes, uh, my colleagues, uh, before that, I will go back to the international observers you just mentioned right now. I want to ask you questions. Who are those international observers? Look at them. Look at those very people that call themselves international observers. They are hungry, wretched, British, oil stealing demons in our land. Nobody invited them. They did not travel to anywhere. They are working hand in hand with the government of the zoo. They, these are the people they, 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 they brought in by the house and gave them a to war. Look like like because of their color, you know, to confuse people, go and check their background. Those of them, even that lady that comes and give it, uh, give a, a press release conference on the EU concerning the election, her name is nowhere to be found on the social media, even in Bobby and Wikipedia. Her name is not there. Go and check it right now. You find out that there is something like such name exist or exist or has existed before. I used to tell you that these are the people mentioned bought by Fulani or especially the Kabaos, uh, the uh, El Rufai, the Cabinet Governor, and the, the, the Apakialis, and those of the men so that decide what, what is happening in the zoo. So if you are talking about Zabas, my bro, you are adapting to their tone. They are not observers. These people are criminals. These people are imposters. What I mean by imposters, they came and impersonate in the name of Zabas. Nobody said 
them. They are right inside the zoo because if you watch the man that causes them from from, from Britain, if you watch his uh, kind of his accent, he speaks clearly like a man that has stayed so long in Africa. That very being in Nigeria, in the zoo, for so many years, he refused to go by there, are something in Nigeria dry. So when you call the observer, these people are the, the, the slaves that work hand in hand to make sure that their plan will succeed. That is why they could not be able to give or ascertain a certain thing that really, really happens or transpired because they are working for their masters. You know, so now, coming to Mbaka or whatever, let me just tell you that I don't want to speak, I don't want to talk about so-called people that call themselves Marabo or people that say that God called them because I wasn't the way God called them. I am not the one that anointed them and I am not the one that employed them. But let me just tell you one thing right like God. You cannot have God and you cannot even use the name of God in vain. You cannot start prophesying and say God has said to you. These are the man that said that Jim Oropin the man will die. So for so some time ago, 2005. And that man is still living up to today. This the man that brought up and so that they call prophecies or whatever. And none of them comes to pass. And here people are still believing what they call what they call the Jumbo Mumbo. You know, these are Jumbo Mumbos and things that they use in order to make sure that their business is growing. And people are believing the let me just tell you, if people don't even know who they are, if that is work of Ali they trying to teach us, if people know exactly who they are, you know that there is power in a spoken word. You know that there is power in the spoken word. That even Bible tells you that the, 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 the power of life and death is in the hand of your tongue. So whatever thing you say with your mouth, you don't need any prophecy. You don't need any prophets. But our people are so confused. That is what the, 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 the British has imposed for us. Using Christianity to impoverish us the more. Using Christianity to make us go down as a beggar. Because that is the way they will tell you when they slap you, when they pastors take your money, when pastors take your life, when they collect your land, don't speak, don't talk about the authorities. Who tell you that this, uh, even that somebody will tell you that any man that his brother still shall die. And when they will come to tell you, don't fight, don't do anything, and they continue to lie because people believe on them so much than believing in God. They will see them as God instead of seeing God from them. You know? So if you back away from comes to say the word of God, the word he has been saying, what has been going on, conferences have been going on, a lot of revelations and prophecies of the few that have been going on. The Bible says that when I speak a Word towards my servant, it will surely come to pass because why I said it with signs and wonders. And if you have seen that sign, talk more of the wonders, you use your teeth to count your why. Those of those are not called by God, He giving you the spirit of discernment when they speak with the sign. And I'm about that, when they speak that this thing is going to happen, my brother, look very well and check the balance the equation if these people are for God. So I don't want to go much far about them, you know. So they have doubled into politics that is to tell you that. They are closing their shop very, very easily. Very soon, I'm telling you before this year, not to my word, before this year runs out, people will start running away from church. Even if you call them to go to church, they will run away. Because church is no longer helping anybody. Church is not bringing the ability. Church is not the solution. The only solution now that stands now that trends is IPOB. The mouthpiece that speaks the truth, that feels the things of the the, 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 the human being, but not even do that. Go by the size of the work by the side with the investment. Work by the side and not, the, not by size and not by the spirit. They work by the things they see. But IPOB don't look at those things. They take everybody a war. That is why our leader is fighting for everybody. So my brother, I was talking about asking another question. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Mazi Elvis, on the for that wonderful submission. And uh, of course, I'm going to have to let you go, but we are still uh, going to be looking deeply uh, on this very devil's alternative uh, some other time. But before I let you go, I would also like you to react uh, based on the recent uh, communique from uh, American government who condemned in totality the British government for congratulating President uh, Muhammad Buhari on uh, his just uh, 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 announced victory. And also, um, if you look at it from the other angle, the nation was also declared, uh, I mean, there are some places where uh, the INEC uh, chairman 
uh, declared inconclusive and uh, he is uh, making plans to conduct a, a supplementary election after announcing victory already. So the whole two things are conflicting. So now American government is condemning the British government for congratulating President Muhammad Buhari. So I don't know what your view on this. Uh, is there in any is there any way uh, okay. or any possibility that the British government ha uh, might likely have a hand in this regime that has just taken place? Because for the fact that they did not come out to condemn it, rather they are congratulating yes. President Muhammad Buhari on the election that everybody considered a rigged yes. election, and now the American government is condemning them. What will you make of it, sir? Okay. Um, my brother, your question is just like as if you can only a kind of uh, 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 um, cheat a blind man by telling him that there is no oil in the soup, but you can cheat him by telling him that there is no salt in that very uh, soup because he has the test, he has to confirm himself. It is only a fool that will now stand to walk by what these criminals are doing. Do you know that Abu Salami, Abu Bakr, Babangidas and all these well and teacher of Cardinal Mafians have gathered together with article when all the meetings they said that this meeting is to maintain peace and to make sure there is no war or a kind of hegemony or problem in the land. And uh, if you watch what Atiku said in that very meeting, my brother, you will cry. All these people that are coming to make statements, telling you things and what of that, stuff like that. I don't believe in those very people. Why? Because they have gone inside the meetings and many of them nearly settled the handicap. Because if you see a man being compromised and I expect the government to react, you won't react. Brother, you will be telling you, okay? Now, my brother, they said this very well. Let us watch and see. You continue dying. If not, why would Buburari come up after that same meeting and say that this very Session. This is going to be who to the after his election. After his election, I went to the whole church in and all the whole congregations in and news of the that the 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 I remember what Trump assumed of it. Condemning and condemning people are continuing dying. America has had the power, has all it takes to come to our aid. They have all it takes to come in. They have if you really, really they, 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 they believe in what they are saying. If really, really they want to help Africans, they want to help that people, they want to help their friends to restore their nations. Let them step up to their patients. They won't want it. What is expected? They are going to speak in and come on and stop that. We are tired of those things. Like what I feel the other day, I am tired of seeing all uh, the international communities. I hate them. They are not doing anything. They are being helped. That is exactly what really transfer and what really happens. And when I said it before the election, you saw it as it happens in every way. You saw it as it happens in every way that the observers themselves combined and they conspired to read the elections. And after reading, they gave the result. What stopped the observer from the original result from the specific angle and balancing the question that this is our own result from what we saw that this thing is said is not right let us work together and find a way why this thing happens like this how do we make this result and it's very difficult wow they kept quiet and only that America the America out in Nigeria or whatever my brother I, I don't give a damn about this very bullshit thank you very much all right, thank you very much, our brother Mazi Elvis. Uh, I want to go for that wonderful submission. Now, of course, I'm going to have to let you go, but before I do that, I would like you to give your final words of advice to the Africans and all of us of freedom that are watching you all over the world. Hello, Mazi Elvis, can you hear me? My word of advice is okay. we are in a bit. I can hear you. I All can right, hear please me. go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Please go ahead. Okay. My own, ad my own advice to everyone that comes from the Biafra land, call yourself, you query. 
if you don't query in the morning before this government of Burare Jubril comes to the middle, you must query in the afternoon. If you don't query in the night, if you are in video, if you don't view yourself from immunization and believe to that POV, your blood will continue to be used because this is devil's alternative. We are not that POV has come and we have come to stay. There is no way going forward, I and mean, there is no way moving backward. We are moving the head on, whether good or bad. We are getting there. So that is the advice. If you like, continue yapping. If you don't like, continue to skip one thing or the other. Your business has been born in the north. Your business has been born in the in the, in the Europe land. And none of them owns a piece of land. None of them owns even a kiosk. None of them owns even the one single sewing machine. And you are busy. Open your land. Protecting yourself. Don't worry. We have in this was all that they did. It will affect everybody. We feel like what happened now is what we know. Let us join hands together and work with Martin and the Cano and destroy the suit. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much, our brother Mazi Elvis. I want to for that very wonderful submission, of course. And we are hoping to, uh, we are hoping you will join us by tomorrow as we also continue. Thank you very much and stay blessed wherever you are. All right, uh, all of us of Freedom and Bia fans watching and listening to us all over the world. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is uh, Mazi Victor Oyido, and uh, I have Mazi Bright Oriako with me in the studio. All right, Mazi Bright Oriako, you are welcome once again. Thank you so much. All right, uh, you have heard the submission of our brother Mazi Elvis Omudi. Do you totally agree with everything he said? Yeah, yes, uh, Mazi Omudi, I agree with him. Of course, in the sense that we know that the conflict, we know the creators of the conflict, the British government, and of course, uh, they build the church. We know that today you talk about the church and politics, and of course, religion and politics is playing a very strong role in the evil that is uh, happening. And of course, they said those machineries in the sense that you see, he mentioned, made mention of uh, IBB, uh, Abu Salami, those are the machineries the, in the, uh, that they use to approve the evil thing called Nigeria. That when the people want to stand up and fight for their right, they tell them that we want peace we don't want war but they created a war they created a conflict all you your own is to agree to be a slave just keep quiet one nigeria by force you know when we talk about one nigeria by ak-47 that is what it is so one nigeria by force when they create a conflict and of course use the government to execute it read the election do not you bring out those men from background and political uh, church leaders and that is why you see what, what, what the church is telling you that if a member of ipob will no longer conduct barrier for you we know that what is the essence you know yeah, you look at this thing that you, the background of the whole thing is that why they kill you you just need to die silently the British government, of course, is telling them, see, we don't want war. Go and read the election. Go and do this. Do this. And, of course, the conflict they created is simply they want you to remain perpetual slaves. So we know that this is the evil that is confronting us. So we must understand how serious what is confronting us is because we have no option than to fight for our freedom. All right. Thank you very much, our brother, Masi Bright Oriako, for that wonderful submission. Of course, all of us of freedom and their friends that is listening and watching us all over the world, we are going on a short break. And when we come back, we'll open up the phone lines for you to call to bring your contributions and for you to make your suggestion. And in case you have any question that you would like, uh, you would like us to address and clarify, please do, do feel free to do so whenever we open the phone lines to do. Uh, to do justice to all your concerns. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis and my name is uh, Mazi Victor Oindo. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Welcome back. All of your fans and lovers of freedom, I welcome you once again to Sunrise Daily News Analysis and uh, my name is Mazi Victor Oindo and I have Mazi Bright Oriako with me. Alright, uh, our lines are open for you to call. You can call us um uh, facebook at uh, facebook uh, at sunrise btv and also you can hit us up on skype at uh, sunrise btv on skype also let me call out the whatsapp number and uh, also the phone line for you to call in to make your contributions all right uh, our whatsapp line is uh, plus two three four zero nine zero five six six zero eight five eight three and the phone lines to call is uh, plus two three four 
0702-035-3706. Please call us and uh, make your contribution and ask your question if you have any. Alright, Temazi, but you are saying something. Before. Yes, I was saying something because we, 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 we must understand the whole issues. Uh, when we are angry, we must know why we are angry. And of course, okay. if anybody is human and not angry with the situation, there's something wrong with that person. Uh, of course, if you're not an imbecile, you'll be angry with what has just transpired, what is happening to us. Because we have seen horrible situations, we have seen killings, we have seen uh, the blood flow in our land. Then we also see the uh, horrible thing in called democracy how it, uh, it has become so horrible everything about nigeria is horror it's, uh, it's just smelling horror so we have to understand why it is happening because there's somebody somewhere where we do they say no matter how bad the situation is somebody's always enjoying it because the british government is enjoying what is happening that is why nigeria has remained the way it is that is why you think that uh, you are fighting, uh, you are fighting for Atiku, you are fighting for Buhari, you are wasting your time. The real people enjoying the good evil is the British government. And that is why they do everything to support it. And that is why they were at the forefront to confront, I mean, to congratulate the evil thing they called Buhari in Asorok. So you must understand the situation here, that we are confronted with only one option, to get ourselves free, because freedom is never given by the oppressed, uh, by the oppressed so it is always taken by the oppressed and the time to take our freedom has come and that is why Chuko Kadem has given us Mazen and the kind of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra who is there doing duty for Biafra and of course he has won to get Biafra restored because without Biafra we are gone, we are doomed he saw it a long period of time what is playing at now? Mazen and the saw it a long time. And yes, he, uh, he told us he has used every language known to man. And of course, to po the point that he started hitting us so hard that so many of our people got so angry, they said he does, they, they don't like the way he's talking. But he doesn't change anything. All that he has been saying has been the truth. And of course, uh, we know that the truth has been what is cast in the world. The truth is what has been missing. And that is why when you see our people tripping to the church, they are looking for the truth. But today we have seen the truth. Mazen and the have told us the truth, therefore, must be restored. All right, we have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Good morning. Please make sure My anytime you call us, you turn down the volume of your listening device, please, so that we can have effective communication. I said it over and over again. Please turn down the volume of your listening device anytime we pick your call, so that there won't be a hold back. Okay, so that I can hear us and we can hear you as well, and we'll have effective communication. Please make sure you obey simple instruction. All right, Tema Zebrite, you are saying something. All right, we'll have a call on the phone. Call on the phone, good morning. Call on the phone, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning, and welcome to the program. Hello. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. Hello, Mars. Hey, how you doing? Uh, are you with me? We are with you, live and direct. Please go ahead. Okay. Please, uh, <coughs> I just want to comment. I'm just coming on uh, to the platform this morning. I wasn't uh, with you at the beginning of the topic, but I just opened my radio now. And, uh, I'm hearing uh, what you people are talking about. First and foremost, my name is uh, Mazi Gwedona. I am calling from uh, Abakliki, Izambo, precisely in Abakliki program. Hello. Okay, please go ahead. Hello. We can hear you. Please go ahead. Hello. Okay, okay, okay. So, there is something that I want to ask. I want to ask you this question. Is uh, Israel is Israel uh, among the uh, a member of the United Nations? Of course. Okay, they, they are a member of the United Nations Security Council. Okay, why I decided to ask this thing is uh, what is happening now. You see, just like uh, our brother who was speaking before, you uh, went and break and uh, opened the light. Um, this, uh, this, uh, uh, America, as, uh, as, uh, as, as an eye of the world, has all it takes for us to step into what is happening in Nigeria. But I don't really know what uh, game these people are playing. 
what do you look at it? No, they say that they are saving a investing nation of Taiwan. And this duper chain here, keep that in Nigeria. They went on a, a lodge in a hotel and collected their money and went back to tell their own government that what went on here is okay. Well, my brother, I have certainly seen it that uh, only, only we decided to take the bull by the horse. Only if we decided to whatever means we can use in order to achieve this our nation. I believe now strongly that uh, um, we cannot stop on Western watch. They are not going to help, help us at all. Yes, I don't think that for Africa is farmland. And uh, uh, something on its uh, 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 attention has described Africa as a people. And lastly, what stops the United States of America? They have seen that this thing is not for working. What stops them? This is their work. We don't step in and all the other nations to do our problem and say this If we are black people and we know nothing, just as our leader has been saying, I have come to know really after this election, this is the sham election that took place now. I have come to understand that really, 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 we are in mess. And uh, how long will this thing continue? How long are we going to endure this? So it's time everybody should rise up now. Let us take it by force. Anyhow that it is now. If we are going to perish all, well, God is in heaven. He will know what to do about it. Because 1967, the war was fought. You just imagine uh, the whole nation ganging up against the uh, 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 the, the Biafran. Partly, not all the Biafran, partly. So this, you know, uh, this time around, the British are still on their own. Tell me a reason why a, 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 a government of Theresa May, with all this standards, killing every, killing, I mean killing everywhere. And these people went back to report that it was a, a free and fair election. Please, my brother, I don't have much to say, but uh, I have just asked the question that I want to ask. This Israel is a member of the United Nations because what I was having in mind is that we, as a Biafra, should we uh, successfully get our nation? Is it right for us to belong to the United Nations if a group of a nation in this world we gang up like this and this type of thing will happen and nobody is saying something about it? Do we go to belong to such an organization? You see, that's what I just want to ask you this morning. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, our brother, for that wonderful contribution. Of course, we do welcome every opinion, and we appreciate your concern. All right, uh, Master Bright, you will have one or two things to say. Yes, sir. Uh, we, are, we, we understand the situation here. Okay, we have a call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. Good morning to you, my Victor, my Bright. Good morning. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. My name is Hugo. I'm calling from Enugu Province this morning. All right. Good, Good morning, morning dear friends. Friend. Friends of dear friends and the lovers of freedom. The blessing of Chukwu Kikajama will continue to guide and protect every one of us. You see? And made ourselves available for this divine race. Mas what I want to say, you see the angels, the high level of injustice that is found against their friends, people that they might see all things, is watching. But one thing I want to tell anyone who is part of this man in humanity to his fellow, the reason why people that the almighty God, for some of you know him as the almighty God, bring justice to a particular nation or destruction is because of high level of intimidation, injustice against man, against his fellow. All of you may think that you have power. So for you to continue to intimidate Biafra and kill Biafra and lie against Biafra is the right thing. I want to let you know that you can't go on in doing this forever. Our God, the Almighty God, the great heaven and earth, doesn't love intimidation. 
is not happy when he see man intimidating his fellow man in all rounds. People to carry a Matthias for humankind. He created them. So for you as a man, if you make yourself available to intimidate a particular race, have it in mind that you are making yourself an enemy of the Almighty Creator. He owns your life. He is the one that gives you the life that you are living. If you need to decide to offer your life, then you will die instantly. So for those of you that is doing the work of evil, devil, rethink. Injustice remains the reason why the Almighty God brings destruction to a particular nation. As long as you make yourself a, a, a tool to kill your fellow human continuously without repenting, you put them at a limited time, you will see his anger coming against you. What is happening to their fans all over the world? Man in humanity, when they see good, they will call it bad. When they see bad, they will say this is good. That is the reason why there is a man who says the, 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 the evil and concussion and wicked violence election that just took place that claim the lives of some people are uh, very free and fair. Assuming that if they themselves are conducting this election in their country and some people were killed, they will be happy. You have to measure the thing that you want people to do to you, do to the people the same thing. If the election, it is clear to the whole world that it is fraud. But some people claim to say, congratulations, free and fair. I wish your life will remain free and fair, such as that election that claims the life of some people. But one thing we are telling you people, as you gang up against their friends, in a limited time, you will all fade away. We are telling you that we want to be free. And freedom comes from the almighty people of Gadiama, the creator of this heaven and the earth. He laid the foundation of earth for me and you to live on top. And whatever he says must surely happen. That is the reason why at the end of everything, Mazi, you will see that we will be left in our land because the African freedom must be here. Thank you very much. May the blessing of people be complete. And thank you very much for that wonderful I think keep on doing this work. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Keep the calls coming in. We we'll have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. So, that's it. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. We have a call on Sky. Call on Sky. Good morning. Uh, good morning, uh, Mas Victor and the Mas Uriak. Uh, okay. Please, can you speak up a little bit? We are not getting you clearly. Yes, my name is Ralph Uh By the grace of God, I came from Biafra land. Uh, Umwaka in all province, but I serve the legion of people of Biafra here in Russia as the national coordinator. Uh, as the, uh, since after the concluded the uh, league election, actually, I have, I have never been myself because this type of conspiracy uh, in a high scale on international level. Uh, and that is since, since I was born, I never see such. But men and women, we are shot dead at the police station. In, at, they, at, at the day brought the uh, uh, light, and the so-called international mon uh, monitoring group, they were there, even conspire. There was a video that was, uh, they show a, a, British, a, a British man, uh, 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 and uh, somebody confronted him. He let her get up. So, and if you watch in the same video, it was the same man that came out and uh, uh, announced that the election was uh, went uh, went very well and it was uh, good at fair. So, when I saw all these things, I'm really that's I'm. Uh, I, I can't understand what is who what is really I, in that uh, space of uh, uh, land that is called Nigeria. People that are living there are they at all human beings? Because if the, if it, this thing is really in happen in a real uh, a country that human beings are living, nobody will be will realize we sit at home now talking peace. Everybody would have been on the streets. 
build a revolution would have been on by now. But I'm surprised that people are, are people people are just, we are just like people that are in that is under coma. Our that is people have pushed to this to them to stop up that nobody can able to speak. Even during the time of military dictator, this type of thing had never happened. But to our own surprise, even our even people, our so called evil elites, our uh, the, the, the politicians, the people that because it's called it's intellectual, he now every person is free mood. Not, that is big in their heart, no more. Truly men are like market women. The time that men are supposed to be at war front to confront evil, men are there in their in their, in their uh, wife's kitchen. So the thing really baffled me. What is wrong with our people, especially our Igbo people? Yesterday there was a group that I, I left yesterday. This group they, they blocked me during the time of election because I was opposing them. I was telling them to support IPOB so that uh, this uh, uh, our people can be able to get our freedom. And in that group, all of them claim to be professors, intellectuals, doctors, men of high caliber, but. The, well, if you see what the trash they are saying there, because of the, because of my uh, uh, listen, uh, the I was condemning what they are saying there, they blocked me before the election. Immediately after the election, they uh, they unblocked me. So I'm start asking them. Well, now, man, what is now? Now, have you have you known now since that none can and I feel we are rats. Instead of them not doing, they are still, you know, they are still at the thing of Nani Kanu. I think Nani Kanu is stubborn, he doesn't listen to them, they know him, he's a friend, but he, he can never go up to it. Okay, I told them, if Nani Kanu is not doing well, why not you stand up and organize your own people and then and move for them and, and show us the way? And they sort of put us with you. Why are you standing there doing nothing? But then the person that is doing, that has sacrificed your own life. At the, long, at, the, at the long run, after the required agreement, I later left that, that group yesterday, yesterday. So, and if you watch what you got on that group, that is the mindset of every Nigerian, especially our Igbo, 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 Igbo people that call themselves that are learned. How can you call yourself a learned? But some people, people that think illiterate are the people that are controlling their future. With the help of British, we are talking of British. British is even this, uh, uh, is even uh, the best way to be blamed. We allow ourselves to be used. Because if you wake up today and say no to people in Nigeria, no to foreign for election, no to uh, criminals that are still stealing our election, then uh, that's British cannot, uh, they don't have authority. But because we are in coma, then they can be able to manipulate, they can be able to do whatever they like, what they know that we can never do. So, uh, my brother, I don't want to take much of our time, but I'm really angry. My dad is in grief. I'm depressed with what is happening on in that since after the election. But uh, my comfort is that we have a living leader, a leader that the man that saw tomorrow. He is the only person that he, that, that saw what is happening. Anything that happened in Nigeria, they are ready for two, for for, for two years. And yet, evil people, they will see agree, they will see refuge, they will see. In the order is uh, rather to die in the hand of Fulani than to listen to none can. But I feel be, we are global family. We shall never relent. We shall never surrender. We should, that's our our trend is a moving trend. All the people that refuse to enter into that trend, they shall die inside the uh, this inside Nigeria. And I feel be all the people that are locked inside that uh, moving trend, all of us will be saved by the grace of Spokia Beyond. You see? So I All right, thank you very much, Mazi. We so much appreciate your wonderful contribution and uh, stay blessed wherever you are. We have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Uh, good morning, my brother. Please tell us uh, where you are calling from. My name is Shukwe Meka. I'm calling from Germany. All right, welcome. I want to contribute one or two things uh, about this uh, previous hundred elections. British people, I keep saying it, British people are evil and they will never change until our people wake up to their responsibilities. Every Biafrans, especially those here at home, call the ones abroad here to join IPOB family in the earth. Let's see how we can liberate ourselves. Atiku is going for a meeting, a peace meeting or whatever they call it in the mouth. This Atiku failed to realize that that mandate is not a mandate. The people, Atiku is just like a driver. 
the people who believed in, in him and in the uh, so-called uh, BBC wanted him in. It's like they bought a vehicle and asked a ticket to be the driver. And the reason man and the Buare and Jubri stole it. I think he is now going to negotiate it with the other people that bought the car for him to drive for them. I think he goes there to serve the So whatever thing he's negotiating there should be he should first of all come and ask the people that voted him in. Everybody saw that the election was rigged. America condemned it, everybody saw it. I don't know why Britain is bent on fucking the blood of innocent Biafrans again. And this brought me to whatever our leader has said in this platform since I know him has been hundred and one percent correct. But there is only one thing that he said that baffles me. I will maybe if you can you guys can give me clearance, I will be very happy. Our leader is too generous and he shouldn't be a standard generosity to Britain. How can our leader say that England is the most civilized piece of territory on this planet Earth? The civilized people and Boko Haram, also Fulani, to go and slit open, I mean, the, 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 the stomach of a pregnant woman. Look at all this mayhem killing. A church was completely wiped out in Kaduna. Civilized people don't do like that. Civilized people act like the way Donald Trump is acting now. And America. If Donald Trump wanted to be the richest man on this planet Earth, true Biafra he will be by supporting what is going on in Biafra land. But he never did. That is the sense of civilization. If you want to take whatever belongs to Biafra by force, he can do it. But he's not doing it. That is civilization. But why must you take claim to be the civilized people on this earth and they go on pillaging and looting and murdering innocent men, women and children? And they use the BBC to sterilize and deceive the world. Is this the hallmark of civilization? If that is civilization, I'd rather remain a moron. I'd rather know no, nothing. In my opinion, I think Biafra land is the most civilized territory on this planet Earth. Because we believe in every day who operate. These civilized animals don't believe like that. They believe in pillaging, killing, in looting. Calling England is a civilized territory like calling ISIS or uh, uh, kind of civilized people. Because there is no difference. What Britain is doing is even far more worse than what ISIS and the and Al Qaeda have done. So if we should, our leader should not extend that kind of generosity. Our leader has, is so kind with his mind. That's why he is trying to the kind of lift England up. But England, for me, remains the worst place on this planet Earth. That land is filled with the blood and the cry of innocent people. Thank you very much. That's all I have. Thank you very much, our brother, and uh, we appreciate that. All right. We do have a call on us, uh, um, Skype. Okay, Messenger. All right. Call on Messenger. Good morning. Yes. Hello. Call on Messenger. Good morning and welcome to the program. Yeah, I brought you greetings from the beautiful confederating state of Switzerland. Thank Shabbat you very shalom. much and welcome to the all. program. Shabbat shalom all. Thank you. My name remains Ifan Ituku, Emmanuel Okoyongkike. Uh, my contribution this morning is just to refer about our brother who called yesterday, the last caller of yesterday. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything to contribute for what uh, for the list topic. Mm. But well, let me remind us that uh, on the day our the servant of God, Mazin Namdekan, made a broadcast of calling off the election by court. The next day, his deputy Uche, that has warned that this our platform will not see corruption, he said that now we have entered the second stage. So, my fellow dear friends, time has gone. Who will beg people to, to join the IPOB? Just at the best people, go to the nearest IPOB around you and join. There is no time for begging anybody. The Holy Torah, Torah said, If I be lifted up, I will draw men unto myself. The servant of God, Mazinam the Canon, has lifted the name of God up. up, up. Then God will draw, him, draw men unto himself. 
we don't have time now to dig anybody to, to join IPOB. Any, any, any place wants to be good and fine. Any politics, when most and tell, how can a man, a common man like me, to confront a pharaoh? What did God tell, said to Pharaoh, uh, said to Moses? Go and tell Pharaoh that I am that I, I am that I am that sent you. God has spoken to man, man can go and tell Nigerians, go and tell Biafrans to prepare to leave Nigeria. We should forget about God, is how God is going to do it. Man, the servant of God, man can, cannot bring Biafra. Only God will bring it. His, 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 his work is just to, to send this message to people. Get prepared how to leave this country. And which he's doing now, and he has been drawing, he has been lifting up God's name. And God will draw men unto himself. When the God have seen the, 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 the number of people that are worthy, that none they can have drawn unto himself, he will strike Nigeria. Nobody knows how he's going to do it. Nigeria will wake up one day and say, let these people go. So time has gone for us to beg anybody now to join IPOB. Just my personal opinion, we have entered the second stage, like our deputy, our deputy and the, 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 the servant of God, Mazen Nankar, has, has just said in the previous broadcast, in the day he lifted up the boycott. So we should not evangelize of preaching anybody now to join. This is a global, this is a, this, this, this is a, a glorious call. And only God will draw men unto, me, unto himself. We don't beg anybody now. Sometimes I, I feel to just, just in this struggle. But when I see that God compelled me, not anybody, I remain. So God must bring those people who are sincere to serve him, who are, who are worthy to enter into that promised land. So just that's my little contribution. All right, Maz. We appreciate that very much. So Thank you very much. I will uh, guide all of us and, us and, and lead us into the promised land. He said. He said. He said. He said. Thank you very much, and we appreciate you for that wonderful contribution. And stay blessed wherever you are. All right, keep the call coming in. We have a caller on the phone. Caller on the phone, good morning. Hello, caller on the phone, good morning. You seem to have lost him. All right, we have a caller on WhatsApp. Caller on WhatsApp, good morning. Yeah, hello, good morning. Good morning and welcome to the program. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. Yeah, good morning. I'm calling from Cambodia. Please, can you speak yeah, up a little yeah. bit? So I'm calling from Cambodia. We can barely hear you. Hello? Can you project your voice a little bit more as in speak to the microphone? Hello, Kala, are you still there? All right, we have a call on the phone. Call on the phone, good morning. Hello. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning and welcome to the program. Please tell us your name and where you're calling from. Yeah, my name is Walter Ndebron. I'm calling from your question. My pleasure yeah, to Please go ahead and make your contribution. Good morning. I want to thank all of you for what you have done. Thank you for being there for us. But now, we, there is something I want to complain, which is, this is already a real, don't normally come on air, at usual. When it, it will not be working, it will not be functioning. It only comes with us in a while, but, but before, whenever it, you turn to the radio for, it will be on. Nowadays, it will tell me come on air. So that is my, is that my first complaint. Secondly, uh, uh, my leader is working every day to make sure that comes. Our enemy, uh, our Western brothers are too for me, but because the Most High ordained this journey, you must go to that place. It requires patience. My dear friends should come down, let them not pressure my leader to do what he doesn't want to do for now. Let us follow him, that's why he's the leader. I know we cannot make mistakes. God is with me. And any hand that I have him will go down in the maximum of Yeshua. Yes, yes. I want to remember the Lord, may the most high Lord bless us as we embark on this second phase. 
Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right, thank you very much. Uh, we've taken note of your concern and I uh, think the people in charge will take care of that. All right, we'll have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Mas Victor. Good morning. Yeah, my brother. Glad you're here. Good morning. Good morning, my brother. Welcome to the program. Yeah. May God bless both of you. You see? For me. I'm blessed. God too. bless um Ishema for Mazi Nandekano, our Ebu leader. You see? And uh, all the hot call. Dear friends. In the front line. All of us, God will keep us alive. You and see? We restore the effort. All right, Master, please go ahead and make your contributions, okay? So, um, my brothers, what I have to offer this morning, as our brother from um, Russia says... Your voice is fainting. Hello, Master, are you still there? I can barely hear anything. Okay, please do good to call us back and we welcome your opinion, please. And I will have a call on Skype. Call on Skype, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, call on Skype, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, tell us your number where you are calling from. Yes, uh, my name is Wachine Kojimba. Good hello. All right, please go ahead and make your contributions. Yes, thank you very much. Um, well, I've been trying to call you people for some couple of days. Yesterday, I tried. Don't really know what happened. Don't, you guys are not picking my call. So I, I okay, we are sorry about that. that. There's a lot of uh, traffic yes, on yes, the calling I, time. I want to thank uh, all of you for the wonderful job you, uh, you are doing. But uh, before I... Uh, continue. I want to quickly um, say what I wanted to say today. Uh, because one of the topics uh, you could raise was um, revolution. So, and I, I think uh, whether I will like it or not, Martin Adekano has already started the revolution. But so many people are thinking the revolution should be like that of the fight, uh, uh, blood killing. No! But what is doing now is what they call revolution of the mind is sensitizing our people and our people are beginning to think like human beings. That's why that today the Biafra can stand and point out to the Nigerians and call them so because the way they reason is far from the way a normal human being will reason. And uh, again, people made mention of um, the role of the pastors, clergymen are playing today uh, in, uh, in, in freedom. So we have the issue, the likes of a uh, uh, late uh, Martin Luther King. It's also a reference who helped to liberate Africans from uh, uh, in America. He sensitized them, told them, he, he even uh, uh, they did what they called uh, civil disobedience. So if you look very well, you will notice that in the Western world you will see priests coming at the forefront to liberate their people. But I don't know, in this part of Africa, Nigeria precisely, I would. Hello, Kala, are you there? Oh, we lost him. Please do good to call us back. All right, we have a call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. Hello, call on the phone. Are you there? Oh, we've lost that one. All right, we have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Mas uh, Victor and uh, Mas Olia. Good morning and welcome to the program. Yes, I'm Mr. Mas Chukunen. I'm calling from Italy, a native of Amanuke, Okanot, Biafra. Thank you. Yes, uh, one thing I want to say is that uh, before the election, uh, Mbaka said on this paper that uh, God told him that. Uh, the man he called Buhari should not run for the election. 
that means that uh, he's not gonna win. But at the end of the day, when uh, the war just started, that is the bazaar period. Peter will be up and he said to Peter, "Be bring money, so that we will prophesy, you will win." And Peter will be there. He will not say what he will give. Let I will discover. Then he got angry and said, "Maybe you have already lose." Then at the end of the day, after the result, he, he releases a song that uh, uh, his prophecy has come to pass. I don't know which prophecy come to pass. The one he said that he should not run, that the guy will, the man in Cobbari will, will, will lose all. The one, I don't know. These people are just deceiving them. And if you are there going to church there, you are just wasting your time. Maybe because, uh, you know, sometimes it is very hard for a slave to know that he or she is a slave. Because of uh, maybe the way they tied you, then you will love the person to the end. You don't want to know when the person is wrong or not. Everybody should open their eyes. For the long system, like I said, that uh, mean, ad, uh, whatever, adoration, whatever. And uh, I do not say any good to bring to you, but it's only make noise. So, people should know that these people that come to say men of God are just there for their pocket. Of them are gone with. People, I don't know why it's very hard for you to see that this person is the one standing for you. And for you to support that person, you will leave that person and be, you know, listening to other people. Our leader has uh, given people open letter, open mandate to join up. We are thinking the best thing for our leader now, if he's telling me, is to give us uh, the deadline. The day that uh, we don't need anybody again. Let us make a move. Because giving them open, open, no, open field for, since, uh, for long time is too much. Let there be a deadline where we can move on. If anyone doesn't want to enter, then uh, uh, when the baby swallow the person. What I would need to do is to join up your be mostly the Biafras, so that we will know when we are going and when we are asked to sit down and when we are asked to shout and when we are asked to play music. This is why you need to join it. Some people are running because of the contribution. Nobody is asking that you must contribute. Mostly here in Italy, some days ago, our coordinator made a meeting that uh, uh, the, the, the payment for the people that are not uh, this thing, doing this thing is, is bringing them or they reduce it very low. People are consuming money here. If you bring 10 euro for a month, it's not too much. If you are here in Italy and uh, you've not joined up, you'll be anywhere. You are just, uh, you know, beating around the people because time we come, you will like to join and we tell that there is no more space for you. Go to Ghana, when Ghana were pursuing uh, the Nigerian people, if you say that we be Afro, they will consider you. A friend called this radio, I think, he said it. It's not easy. All like this place, the day that we start their stupidity, because everybody can change at any time and say that I don't want these people here. You're, you can say, the way I'm angry with the people, I'm a Biafra man, my country is in trouble. They may allow you to stay here. So you stay hiding, you don't want to join the Biafra struggle here. You are, your life is in risk because uh, you don't know what may happen next. And uh, uh, it's better for you now to join so that we know the the next level and also to people of uh, the Abu, I have many Abu brothers when I tell them about Biafra they make me, they got me angry I wanted to fight one of them because uh, I was telling him Biafra, he tell me I'm not a Biafra it's okay, no problem but uh, the day we come to maybe we need one of my help I will tell him to go and meet all Nigeria people because I'm not in Nigeria so People should know that uh, there is no other way to restore Biafra than IPOB. When I were in Onicha, I see the way I was always doing a Biafra issue. I hate Biafra to talent the time, the way I was in the front, do rubbish. But when I see, hear the voice of Nandekana and how he's doing it, I am the one that begin to search for a way to join until so I finally join. So people should go and join this uh, struggle to restore Biafra. And uh, if you still think uh, there is any other step to take, 
we are wasting time because the step has already been taken. The revolution is what we need. And the revolution is, you know, it can come in different form than you think. Our leader is the only one that will take us to Biafra. Let us support him. Let us forget about envy and the hatred from anybody. Don't listen from our side because people listen from our side. That is why they got confused. If you want to get uh, the real uh, edit, uh, you have to come to the socks. I thank you all for all the you people are doing. Uh, it's a mighty, you know, you people are doing a marvelous work. And God Almighty will bless you all. Thank you. I keep I bless you too. Bye. All right, thank you very much, Abora, for that wonderful contribution. And of course, we do appreciate you for all the education you went as far as educating us. All right, we just need a, one last lucky caller or two before we call it a day because our time has elapsed. All right, we have a caller on WhatsApp. Caller on WhatsApp, good morning. Hello, caller on WhatsApp, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Thank you very much and welcome to the program. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. Yeah, I have called before. My name is Mr. Shukwode. I'm calling all the way from Switzerland. You're welcome. I'm uh, from Oka Province, Vietnam. Okay, please go ahead and make a contribution. Um, yeah, what I have to contribute this morning is about... Uh, um, so-called uh, religious leader in our uh, land, the Biafra land. I think all of us, we are not children anymore. As I am now, if I enter somewhere, I'm somebody who called pastor or reverend or bishop or proof that is tried. When I take my Bible and do my way. If I enter somewhere, somebody tell me that something that is white is black, that black is white. What I have to do is to take my Bible and do my way. I myself, I'm a born again before I left Nigeria. I mean, I'm talking to you. I'm still born again. When I was in Nigeria, when I lived in Nigeria, I'm a member of Washman Charismatic Renown Movement and the Lord Jesus. in these two churches is where I used to attend because two of them have the same doctrine or they have different names. So, Bible says we shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free. So, anybody who says that you live one Nigeria, that person is not a fruit. That person is a liar. That person is a devil. And um, we don't need to preach any more about their friend as uh, our as I I can 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 because of our time. What I encourage people time. down there to do is to reach for is, is, is to look for um, our family around them and register them. Then. Let us take our country back. As you can see, the so-called international community, they are thieves. There is the film I'm saw in internet where a, a member of International Observer is helping um, APC uh, writing results of INEC. International Observer is helping APC um, INEC uh, writing results. Then one black man approached them and asked them, What are you doing? They say, Do, uh, The black man says, You are playing you. Then they ask him, what is he helping with? The white man said, I'm helping him to write. I'm helping him to write his job. They say, we are sorry, we are sorry. They run away. So as you can see, those British, um, those international communities, they are cities, they are rogues. They are stopping our blood to make their own rich. Last time, they shot for the four Right, Mazi, please, we have British no time story. again. Can you India. please call it a shot? Make them great Britain. I make, I make India the poorest country in planet. Then no one will know how much they have stolen in our Vietnam land that make us to be living in abject poverty. I make them great Britain. So, nobody help you like you help yourself. I encourage, I encourage and urge our people down here 
use your senses, use your tongue. That's why you to everybody around you, so called traditional leaders, so called prophets, bishops, pastors. Run, help yourself. Go to any our family meeting and join because Biafra restoration is very, very, very close. One day you will sleep and wake up Biafra. You will sleep in Nigeria Thank and you wake very up much. Biafra. This and is of the course, point. that is yeah. why we we'll call it a wrap. I appreciate you for your concern. All right, Manzi, Brightoria, quickly, because of our time, can you just uh, give your final words of advice to Biafrans? Yes, uh, Biafrans and lovers of freedom, it's not the time to sleep, it's time to wake up because we have horrible situations facing us. All we need to do is stand up and, of course, join the nearest IPB family with, or, very close to you and, of course, you'll be safe. Thank you for joining us and, of course, I remember Brightoria. All right, thank you. All lovers of freedom, you've had it yourself. Find a, an IPOB family that is closer to you and join because there is no time again. My name is, is Mazi Victor Oyindo and uh, with Mazi by Toriako, we are signing off for now. Join us tomorrow, same time, same station, as we bring you another wonderful episode. Stay blessed wherever you are and don't go anywhere. Thank you. <laughs>